This is a documentary about the Sykes-Picot Agreement in the year of 1916 by Allison and Kimmy Clorman. Sir Mark Sykes and Francois Picot, the two creators of the Sykes-Picot Agreement. This agreement was completed in the year 1916, a year before the First World War ended. The official date was May 19, 1916, when Sir Mark Sykes and Francois Picot formed a secret agreement between France and Great Britain. This became known as the sykes picot Agreement. This agreement allowed France and Great Britain, and later Russia and Italy, to take parts of the Ottoman Empire peacefully. France was given direct control of a blue zone that covered Kilakia, Siran, and Lebanese coastal areas. Britain would take control under similar terms of a red zone. This consisted of central and southern Mesopotamia, as far north as Baghdad, plus Akka and Haifa in Palestine. A third zone, known as the Brown Zone, covered the remainder of the Holy Land. This was an international zone in which no country would get direct control until after they decided it between Russia and the other allies. The territory that fell between the red zone and the blue zone would be under independent Arab rule, but would be subdivided into two sub-areas, the A zone and the B zone. The British would have rights to appoint advisors to the Arab ruler and have preference over loans and contracts in the A zone. The French would have the same privileges in the B zone. The sykes picot Agreement was responsible for the annexation of Arab lands and their incorporation into British and French empires, resulting in an expansion of both countries' imperial territories as well as an increasing their world power and prestige. Positive Impact France and Great Britain got complete control of the natural resources in their parts of the Ottoman Empire. Most importantly, oil. Oil was, and still is, a very valuable resource to countries all over the world. The British Navy was the first to switch from coal to oil in 1912 for powering the machinery used during wartime. Though it is very costly, many countries are thirsty to have it. Negative Impacts when the Arabs found out about the agreement, they were never fully trusting of the British and French governments. It also caused great embarrassment among the Allies. The sykes picot Agreement is seen as a negative turning point in Arab-Western relations. How did the Arabs find out about the agreement? When the Communists, led by Vladimir Lenin, found a copy of the agreement in the Russian government's archives, it ended up being printed in the Manchester Guardian, on November 26, 1917. Promises that were made to the Arabs by Britain were broken. Was the sykes picot Agreement a contributing factor to the U.S. entering the First World War? The sykes picot Agreement was not a contributing factor to the U.S. entering World War I. The only involvement that the U.S. had was that they pressed for Arab self-determination. This in no way could have led them to join the war.